Hello kids, my name is Kelly and welcome to this beginner guitar lesson for children. Today we're going to learn a few short exercises that will help you to get good at the guitar. For this lesson you'll need a guitar obviously, and you can sit or stand whatever you're comfortable with. You'll also need a guitar pick. If you don't have a guitar pick that's okay, you can use your fingers like this. It'd also be good for you to tune your guitar before doing this, but if you can't do that, no problem. I'll also put a link in the description below for you. So our first beginner guitar exercise is just going to be to strum the strings open like this. Strumming the strings open means you don't push down here, you're not pushing down with your fingers or anything. You just strum the strings like this. Yeah! Alright, we're gonna try a jam track. Let's play together. Just watch me and play when I play. One, two, ready, play. Nice job! You did it! Woohoo! Now when we strum the strings open like this, it doesn't really sound like anything. It doesn't sound like a song we've heard or a melody or anything like that. And that's okay because this is just one of the first exercises we're doing. But if we want it to sound better, what we can do is to just play the top string like this by itself. This is the sixth string, by the way, and if we count our strings, we count them from the bottom, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's play that sixth string together, ready? You can try playing fast if you want to, like this. All right, here's our next jam track. We're gonna play the sixth string open like this. Ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go. That's it! All right, two down, two to go. The next exercise is to strum just the bottom three strings, like this. We have six strings on the guitar, one, two, three, four, five, six, and what we do is we just play the bottom three and not the top three. So you have to go down, maybe count six, five, four, put your pick on the third string like this, and just play these bottom three like this. If you're using your thumb, you're like this. All right, here we go, jam track number three, just the bottom three strings. One, two, one, two, ready, play. Well done! All right, so if you accidentally hit wrong strings, um, they're not technically wrong, it's just that you hit a string that you're not supposed to, and that's okay. Um, mistakes happen, and we just keep going anyway. You're gonna make lots of mistakes when you learn to play the guitar. It's just part of the experience. So the best thing to do is just to keep playing and pretend like it didn't happen. For our fourth and final exercise on the guitar, what we're gonna do is go to this bottom string here, and we're gonna count to the third fret, okay? So the third fret is right here. It looks like this and we push our finger down on the third fret like this. To find the third fret, we, we first go to the first fret like this, that's in between these two things, and we count one, two, three, and we hold our finger like this. I'm using my pointer finger to press down. My pointer finger is pressing down here, and my thumb is pushing on the back of the neck of the guitar like this, okay? And when you have that held like this, you're gonna strum the bottom three strings like this. Got it? Here comes the jam track. 
One, two, one, two, ready, go. Great job! The best thing you can do when learning to play the guitar is to do things over and over again, to repeat them. That's called repetition. So these four exercises will help you to learn some basic skills like strumming, picking, that's just when you do one string, and um, also strumming groups of strings, like just the bottom three, and also fretting notes, like the one we just did here where you hold down three. I recommend playing through these four exercises on your own. You can also just play along with this YouTube video a few times, and that would be a great practice session for you. Thanks for watching this video today, guys. Again, my name is Kelly. I'm with Casey's Music Method. Please check out my other videos. I have some great ones up there for ukulele, too, if you're interested. Have a good day.